Boy, are you in for a treat with this travel trailer. If you are looking for a fifth wheel style travel trailer in a rear living room floor plan, this 308 RL, it's a Forest River Wildwood Heritage Glen travel trailer may be for you. This is a really cool unit. Let's take a closer look. I'll be right back. All right, let's start by looking at the numbers on this unit. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating, a relatively heavy one of 11,425 pounds. This has a cargo capacity of 2,153 pounds. This is a relatively heavy unit. So I would recommend if you're gonna tow something like this, do it with a three quarter ton truck or a one ton truck. Single rear wheels, all that's needed. Gas or diesel engine would be fine, but I would not tow this behind a half ton truck. This is roughly 36 feet long. So this is a very long, long travel trailer. And it's set up really well for folks, again, looking for a travel trailer that has more of a fifth wheel style layout to it. Let's open up the front storage and take a look inside relatively thin but dense storage hatches. So they still have some weight to them and they'll close on their own, which is nice. If they used this thin material, but it was a lightweight hatch, then it might not even close when you tried to slam it. Very nice pass-through storage area. Definitely a lot of room in there. You have about 20 inches high, about three feet, at least at this wider area, closer to two feet when it goes towards the center. This is a cool unit. They've definitely done some interesting things. Let's take a look underneath. So this rides on a 10 inch I-beam frame. Rack and pinion slides all the way around. Very nice, and this is a big slide. And it's gonna be a bedroom slide, but I'm interested to see what type of uh, room that looks like inside. Has dual cans here, power tongue jack up front. Coming around to this side, let's take a look in here as well. Good size storage on this side also. I love how they're using the new Whisper Quiet ducted air conditioning system. So this is essentially an upgraded Coleman system. Coleman has now created a non return aired version of their Whisper Quiet system that is very quiet, but doesn't require the type of return air vents that you'd see in the past, which means they've eliminated that congestion point and that restriction point, which is nice. Solar connection here to charge your batteries. It has electric stabilizer jacks on the front and back utilizes the LCI solid step, which gives you that deeper top step, which is really nice. Coming around, it has traditional style framed windows, which is really nice because you can open those up and get great cross ventilation. You can see it has dual awnings. There's one awning up front, one awning here in the back. Covers up pretty much this entire side. There is no outside kitchen on this unit, which would have been nice, but once we get to the interior, we'll probably see why. But from here, you can just see how long of a travel trailer this is. It's a very, very long travel trailer. Comparatively speaking, a fifth wheel would probably only be a few feet longer than this in the same floor plan, maybe only two or three feet longer. So let's take a look inside of this 308 RL. Wow, talk about space. I mean, this, is traditionally indicative of a fairly large rear living room fifth wheel. Just how they've laid this out reminds you of a luxury fifth wheel. I mean, check out the island. Typically on a travel trailer, the island would end right about here. But on this travel trailer, the island looks to be about five feet long, maybe six feet long. That is a great island. Really nice little area here for your coffee maker. The heat ducting is on the side of the island and hidden out of the way, so it's not exposed in the bottom floor, which is also really nice. You can see the price here has a 54,505 MSRP and a 35,951 sale price. It's not a bad price. Has 12 volt refrigerator. It's a really nice stove area here with all this countertop space. Now it would have been nice if they centered the stove and put countertop space on each side, but then you wouldn't really have had room for your Furion microwave above it and to give you the ventilation you need there. But take a look at it. Just what they've done here. This is really nice, really upscale, really high end. It has a great quality feel to it. Really nice entertainment area here. 50 inch TV already mounted, wide view fireplace. Good size sofa on the back, plus love seats that recline, theater seating. You have the day-night roller shades, which are included. That's awesome. That used to be a $1,200 upgrade. 
Plus you have nice cabinets for storage on the side. The trim work also looks really nice in here, especially the contrasting little beams that go across the top. Nice cabinetry with the frosted glass windows, cabinets here, you got drawers there, more cabinets, you got more cabinets down here, tons of storage in here, plus this huge pantry. This is an enormous pantry. And the only reason this is closed off is because something has to be under there or behind there to take up that space. Otherwise though, you have a really, really good sized pantry. Nice frosted glass window over that as well. Coming around back, you have your controls. I like the little design they put that on. Coming into the bathroom area. This is a fifth wheel size bathroom. I mean, it's very similar to the one we had in our Coachman. You have a huge shower stall. This is great. A lot of ceiling height in here. You have a great storage area for all your toiletries and such. You have area for your towels on this side. Plenty of room here next to the sink. Good size medicine cabinet. This is just a really great setup. I really like the bathroom in this unit. Very fifth wheel feeling. Coming into the front bedroom. King size bed. Lots of room on each side of it. Nice dresser at the end here, which is really nice. Countertop on top. This is a huge closet. Plenty of room for a washer and dryer. Lots of wardrobe space. Absolutely stunning. Really like how they've laid this out. And because this slide extends out so far, you have a tremendous amount of room here at the end of the bed. Just a ton of room. Plus, you're going to have storage underneath the bed as well. Very cool. I love how they didn't extend the little nightstands too far over. That's also really nice. Big barn-style door to close off the area. This is just a really great floor plan. It's definitely one that I could see folks who plan to spend a lot of time, travel to a lot of places, enjoy. Now, the one area that I probably would recommend upgrading would be your wheels, tires, and suspension, but you can do that after several thousand miles. You don't need to do that right away. I would recommend going to like a Goodyear Endurance or just a higher rated tire, maybe a different equalizer suspension as well, just to help dampen the ride when you're going down the road, make things last a little bit longer, and it doesn't transfer as much as that road vibration into the actual RV, which is important. But I do love the fact that you get twin 15,000 BTU air conditioning systems. That is awesome. I absolutely love the fact they include the day-night roller shades. That is awesome. And I really like that they put heating pads on all of the tanks, which is also really cool. Plus, this enormous kitchen. This kitchen is huge. And it is a great example of where travel trailer manufacturers are trying to emulate what they do with their fifth wheels. I think they've nailed it here. Anyways, guys, I would love to hear your feedback and your opinion of what you think about this unit. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.